everyone, so this is a empties video. Um, I decided to record another video and here it is. So I have a bunch of empties here. This is my second empties video which I'm very excited. I got some good feedback from my first one. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. So this is the second one. This is a Sephora bag full of products. So let's just get started. So to first start off with I have the Dickinson's Witch Hazel which is 100% natural gentle formula non-drying for oily skin types, oil free. This thing is empty. I really liked this Witch Hazel. I'm not sure if I'm going to repurchase it just yet because I just purchased the Michael Todd um, True Organics Lemon Organic Toner. Um, so that's kind of taking the place of this because I would normally just use this as a toner and just to refresh my skin. But um, if I run, ever run out of my little spray with the tea tree oil and witch hazel, which is in my oils for oily skin video, which I'll link below, um, I'll probably buy some more, just a little bit, because this stuff works really well with tea tree oil and a little spray bottle, like I talked about in my video. So if you're curious about what that is, the link will be below to that video. But yeah, I really, really like this stuff. Um, it's a really big bottle, 16 fluid ounces, which is a lot. And it lasted for a really long time, and I got it at CVS or Walgreens. So I really liked it, and I'm not sure if I'll purchase it now, but I really, really liked it. So next thing I have in my bag is the Tiki Beach Bath & Body Works Scented Candle. This stuff smelled so good. But I'm kind of sad this is over, but it's now October, so I'm very excited to you finally buy some new candles. I haven't purchased any new candles from Bath & Body Works yet, um, because I don't go through them that quickly. Kind of takes me a while to burn through a whole candle. So I had this all summer long and it took me a while to burn through it. So I might just buy some smaller ones like this um, for fall because I haven't burned them that often. But once I did burn it, I burned it for a really long time. And yeah, I really like this scent. It was really like a, yeah, it's a luxurious uh, blend of toasted coconut, vanilla musk, orchids, and resort glamour. That's the smell that they described it as. And it definitely smells like coconut and vanilla. Smells really good. Next, I have the Suave Dry Shampoo. Um, this is my one of my favorite shampoos to use right now. I'm using the Dove one, so I haven't bought a new one of these. But once I run out of the Dove one, I'm probably gonna go back to this one because I really love this one. It smells great. Um, I only wish they made bigger bottles. Like the bottle, I go through them so quickly because I don't wash my hair every day. So I just wish they made bigger size bottles. That way you could. You know, use them longer. Um, I would, I wouldn't even mind paying a couple more dollars for a bigger bottle. So Suave. Make a bigger bottle. Yeah. Next, I have the uh, Pantene Ultimate BB Cream Beauty Balm for Hair. This was like really, really popular a couple of months ago um, because, once again, who would have thought of BB Cream for hair? That's kind of weird. All the BB creams you hear about are mainly for your face. So, um, this is a really good dupe for the Perfect 10 spray. Um, I really liked um, that spray, but this one is so much more cheaper and uh, does everything that that one does. So, it um, repairs rough hair, strengthens against damage, um, is re repairs hair, um, adds silky softness, brilliance, shine, smoothing, moisturizing, frizz control, heat protection, manageability, and tames flyaways. So that's a really long list of things that this stuff does, but it really does do all those things. Um, I haven't repurchased it yet because I'm going through some other stuff, but as soon as I finish them, I'm definitely going to repurchase this because it was amazing, it works really well, and it was like the only thing that I really use as a heat protectant, which I think is really important, and I haven't really been using one since, so I really need to get another one of these. Alright, next is the Maybelline Dream Lumi um, Concealer Pencil, or Highlighting Concealer. This is in the color Nude. I finished this pen, and I immediately got the L'Oreal one, because I wanted to try that one too, um, but they're pretty much the same thing. I mean, I really like this one. Um, but I'll probably do a, like a review for both of them, but honestly, um, they're pretty much the same. But I really liked this one too, so if you haven't tried this out, this is a really good one. Uh, next I have the Burt's Bees Sensitive Facial Cleansing Towelettes, 30 Pre-Moistened Towelettes. These are really good. They're really good for sensitive skin, like it says. Um, I use these a lot. I use them like every single night. And even if I wasn't wearing makeup, I like to use them because they kind of just refresh in my skin. But if you have very sensitive skin and don't like to use a lot of chemicals, the Burt's Bees ones are really good. And sometimes they're on sale at Walgreens, so that's why I got these. So, yeah. Next, I have the Trish McAvoy Correct and Brightening highlighting pen. I had this for a very long time because I didn't want to go through it really quickly because they are kind of expensive. This is in the color 1, Correct and Brighten. 
This stuff is really, really good for highlighting. Um, it's not really much for dark circles. I never really used it as a concealer. I used it more of just the highlighting and contouring. Um, what I would use it with was my Chanel Bronze Universal or Chanel Soleil de Tan or whatever it's called now. Um, and I would use this as the highlighter. And that would be really, really cool to like really sleek out, slenderize the face and everything else. It was just really, really cool. So if you were looking for a really good highlighter for um, a good expensive price, try the Trish McAvoy one. This is a really good one. But I probably won't be repurchasing it because it's kind of expensive. Uh, what else do I got here? A couple more things. Next, I have the Matrix Biolodge Keratin Dose Pro Keratin Silk Pro Keratin Renewal Spray. It has a lot of words of keratin. Um, I really like this. This is a tester of it, but it was a pretty big tester, so I can definitely give a good review on it. Um, I loved it. I'm definitely going to buy the big bottle of this stuff. Uh, after I finished my BB cream, I started using this a lot, and this is awesome. I really, really like what kind of feel it gives to my hair. It makes my hair really soft and smooth and manageable. I can comb it out really easily and it's not going to be, you know, really, really um, tangled. And it smells really great. It's supposed to renew the keratin in your hair to make your hair stronger and help renew any kind of dead ends or split ends you may have. So this is by Matrix and I definitely recommend it. Next I have the La Roche-Posay Effaclair Purifying Foaming Gel. I love this face wash. I've used it a thousand times. You guys are probably tired of hearing me talk about it, but it is definitely a favorite. I've gone through about three or four of these in the past couple of years. So they last you a very long time if you're ever wondering about purchasing them. Um, I really, really like them. It's a really, really great face wash and a really good face line. So next I have the Healthy Eyes by Neutrogena Eye Cream. I I'm sad to say I really didn't like this. It wasn't the greatest eye cream. It really didn't do much and it kind of irritated my eyes after using it a while. So I actually have a little bit left of this, but I figured, you know what, I don't really even like it that much and stop using it. So I consider this an empty because I'm not going to use it anymore. It only has like this much left in it, so it's not really that much. But um, it's supposedly just a like a healthy eyes cream just to keep your eyes looking healthy, moisturized, and, and stuff like that. But it really didn't do much. So I definitely rec don't recommend this. Don't buy this. Don't waste your money. So, healthy, healthy eyes eye cream. Next I have the Makeup Forever Professional Paris HD Powder. This is a setting powder. I have gone through at least two or three of these in the past years, but was looking for something different, so I, I don't plan on repurchasing this because I already bought something else. But um, I really did like this stuff. It's a really good setting powder for um, any kind of skin, any kind of um, makeup, but um, yeah, I, I just don't feel like I need it anymore, but I really did like it. If you are trying something different and you want to try something new, um, I definitely recommend it. And last but not least, I have a sleeve here of the Target Cotton Rounds Exfoliating. Yay! I love these cotton rounds. These are the only cotton rounds I have been buying in the past uh, couple of months because they're just so great. I like them more than any other cotton round because they have the little scrubby side and the soft side. You can use them for, you know, taking off eye makeup or removing makeup itself. Um, yeah, and they're for a good price, like two, I think it's like three bucks, three fifty or something like that. So you get a good amount, you get a hundred of them, so they definitely will last you. And yeah, I really, really like them. They're my favorite. So I've already repurchased these, and if you haven't tried them out already, go and try them out. Go to Target, try them out. You'll, well, buy any other cotton rounds afterwards, so yeah. So that was it. Really quick and simple empties video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I had a great time watching. Don't forget to thumbs up the video if you liked it and leave a comment. If you've ever tried any of these products, leave a comment and tell me if you loved them or hate them. And if you have any recommendations for products similar to this, please leave a comment. I'm always looking for new products to try out and research. So yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you had a great time and I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye!